Now, here's your host, Pete McTeague. Hi, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Well, hello again and welcome to Pete McTee's Clubhouse. And in our studio audience today, we have Cub Pack number 69 from Jacobus. Give yourselves a big round of applause. Yay, me! And let's really hear it for my buddy Captain Cool, okay? Let's let's clap real loud. Let's and he'll come out. Okay, ready? Go. Yeah. Well, I guess. Good oh. morning, Pete. Gee, Captain, I didn't know if that was loud enough or not. Did I don't you know. Think so? Should we try it one more time? Yeah, let's you go back in there. Okay. Let's let's hear it for Captain Cool real loud. Yeah. Come on out, Captain Cole. Yeah. Wow. How was that? That was good. They're good, aren't they? What a good group. Yeah, Cub Pack 69 from Jacobus. That's a good group. Yeah, see, when you didn't come out there at first, I thought maybe it wasn't loud enough. They did good. Okay, well, what's the cool word today, Captain? Cool word today is glass jars, Pete. What do you do with glass jars? There's several things we can do. First, we should always recycle our glass and keep them in a separate container. Yeah, that's a good idea. From the paper and the plastic. Right. And one thing we can do is we can use them in Dad's shop if he stores nails or anything, we can oh, nail the cool. lids up underneath the counter. and You, you can mean like old mayonnaise jars and pickle jars? And baby things? food jars. And baby, That's a good idea, yeah. And we can also poke holes in the top of it. Yeah, and, and put that, spiders in there? No, not spiders, oh, Pete. I, thought, I guess you could. I guess you could. Or bugs, or lightning bugs, maybe mm -hmm. in the summertime. But you, you can make little shaker things for like when you're on camping trips or okay. powder. So recycle glass. Recycle glass. Okay, thanks, Captain Cole. I'll be back. All right, and we'll be back with more fun. Don't go away. Again, and welcome back to Pete McKee's Clubhouse. We have a great group of Cub Scouts today in the clubhouse, and we're going to have lots of fun. Sammy Joe will be here in just a few minutes, but now let's wake up Wembley, okay? Let's see if Wembley's awake. Wembley, are you in there? Well, good morning, Wembley. Where's your hat? Oh, you woke up too quick today, huh? Didn't have time to put your hat on. Oh, I think he's hungry. You think he's hungry? Okay, here, let's give him one of these. Okay, all right, sit. Okay, now speak. Speak. Jump up and down. Okay, that's good. Let's hear it for Wembley. Oh, what a... What a trained dog. Hi, Scooter. Hi, Pete. Hi, Pete. My computer, we're going to be talking to Scooter a little later on in the show. Come on in. Hi, Sammy Joe. Hello, how you, are you? Okay, you brought your horsey today. I sure did. Professor and I were actually out trail riding earlier, and really? I just was having so much fun, I thought I'd bring Stevie Joe by, and I yeah. brought you a broom. A broom, but I, <laughs> it's not really like a horse, it's a broom. I know, but. <laughs> Professor, what do you have? <laughs> I got a giraffe, Pete, look at that. <laughs> It looks funny. It kind of looks like your hair, Professor. <laughs> Look. Chim, 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 and a chim, chim. No, that's no. another movie no, okay, thing. Okay. Yeah, but Sammy Joe, your horse makes a cool sound. Let's 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 listen to that. Okay. That's pretty neat. Yeah. Sounds like wow. Wembley when he's hungry. Yeah. That sounds like there. Wembley running for his dog dish too. Yeah. Well, my broom doesn't make that cool. No, horse sound. there's only one Stevie Joe. Well, hey, you know, yeah. Sammy Joe, why do we have these things? Because you yeah. know, I well, wonder. What are you doing with these things? I wonder things? why we got these things. Well, when you can't go outside and you want to do, you know, some fun things, uh -huh. I just pick up my horse Stevie Joe or a broom or a yardstick, and um, we can just lay them down on the ground. Lay them on the ground. Lay them on the ground. Right. Right. Just okay. like this. This is yeah. laying on the ground stuff here. Hey, hey that now. wasn't. So hard. Okay. No, that's not bad. No. And this is how I get I'll my. Watch Wembley there, Professor. Oh, I'm sorry. He's careful, Professor. He doesn't okay. like to do exercises. Okay. There you go. Now, yeah. what I normally okay. do is I just start moving my feet back and forth like this. You mean just jump over the? Yeah, the just jump like over. This, like this. Right. Hey, I can do that. Look at Professor. He is cheating. Professor, you're not supposed to sit down Professor, when you do exercises. Not... Well, wait a minute. 
I'm gonna pee, you know, I, I exercise one thing at a time, Pete. Right now I'm exercising my ankles. What do you think, Sammy? My Jean? ankles, Goofball. Pete. Goofball. Goofball. But I, I, I'm learning, Goofball. Pete, I'm learning. Okay, nobody's okay, stepping over these things. Let's okay. do this again. Okay, okay. okay. Oh, so far, it's not Can a All right. faster. Yeah, try to pick up the pace a little bit. Professor, faster. Faster, Pete. Faster, was, come I'm, on, faster, faster. Let's try this again. I'm come tired, on, people. I'm tired. Okay. People, let's try Professor, this again. Ready? Oh. She has another thing. Now what do we do? Okay, I'm gonna move the broom out of the way here. Okay. These that, are long. That's your horse, Pete. I know. She's I know. probably putting it out to pasture. <laughs> <laughs> now this okay. is another thing you can okay. do. You can just do little side steps uh, around the horse. Okay. Can okay, you ready, try that? ready, McT. Ready. ready. Go. Watch your big shoes. No, Pete, Whoa, Pete. I think I killed the horse. Oh, oh my God, oh, I stepped on Stevie oh, Joe's head. Gosh. Oh, my Okay. Oh, gee. So, you sorry. You want to try it, Professor? You try it, well, Professor. Uh, go uh, around your, your goose head or whatever uh, it's, it's called. It's a giraffe, Pete. It's a giraffe. <laughs> oh, it's here. a giraffe. I think, go right I think you better out have respect for that thing. Okay. Yeah, okay. What are you doing, Professor? You can't wrestle with it. It's just a stick. It's more than a stick, Pete. Okay. If that's Stevie now, what are we Joe, doing? then this is more than a stick. Let okay. me show okay. you something All right, go different. ahead. Okay, now. Okay. This is something right. else now. Okay. I'm if worried, Pete. a couple sticks here. If she my horse is called Clyde. If she starts setting tires up that we got to run through. This is all my... All right. She has <laughs> lots of energy. Wait a minute. Yeah, I'm, I'm really worried about that. Okay, you try that, Professor. Okay, you try now, it, she Professor. Did, she did this. This, 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 back again. She That's that good. Very good, Professor. Like that? And a good pace, yeah. Yeah, now you. <laughs> I don't know. So you can go fast and slow. Well, right, then you can do exercise. a little okay. grapevine. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah, that's Slide fine, like through. a. What's it called? A grapevine. What's a grapevine? I don't see any grapes. Do you? Well, you, you, you could, you could, you could even do this. Right. You could even do this. Have Pete, to be this. careful, this, Professor. Be yeah, careful. maybe you could go backwards. No, Pete. Pete. Sometimes you forget where you are. I could do the moonwalk, maybe. That's good, Pete. That looks real okay. good. Stevie, Sammy, wait a minute, wait, uh, wait. Clyde. I'm mixed up here. Oh, a little I bit. think you stepped on Stevie's right. oh, ear again. Okay, I now. stepped on the horsey head. Okay, Stevie so Jeff. basically, what we're doing yeah. here is we're using our imagination. Using right. our imagination. That's absolutely free. And our broomsticks. Absolutely. And our broomsticks, right. Yeah. Right. So, uh, you know, like, I got to get this back because, you know, I got to clean the light fixtures down at the lab. Okay. okay, see ya. I got to do that. Okay, Pete. Bye, Bye, Professor. Bye, Pete. I'll see you later. Okay. Well, uh, watch be yourself, careful, there, professor. professor. You could hurt somebody Be like careful, that. Okay. Professor. Okay. Professor. Oh. Be careful. Oh. See you, man. See you later. What a goofball. He yeah. never leaves early. I no. can't believe it. We have this. He always shows oh. up. Oh. <laughs> hey, what are we doing today, Sammy Joe? What We're are these running. sticks for? So what, that's uh, you can do lots of things. Lots at of fun home. things at home when it's too cold to go outside. All right, you can do lots of exercise. Well, thanks, Sammy All right, Joe. Let's go we'll run. be back with more fun. Don't let's go, go away. Let's go right here. Yeah. Okay, right here. We'll be right back. Science, the possession of knowledge as distinguished from ignorance or misunderstanding. For sale, one slightly used professor works sometimes. <laughs> Back in the clubhouse, I'm Pete McTee, and this is Pete McTee's Clubhouse. You know? Oh, no. Is that Professor? Oh, should I look now? No. He's not here. Where'd he go? Who rang the doorbell? Nobody. Hmm. Professor, you Pete, did come through Pete, the door. You scare me every week. No, you scare here, me. I'm sitting here welcoming everybody to the clubhouse. I got up and, and I looked around and, and then and I walked over here scared. and you're Pete. sitting on my stool. What do you need, Pete? What do you want? I don't know. What's in that box? Whoa, hey, this is neat. Hey, do you have do you have donuts or waffles no, 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 or something? No, 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 I gotta in show there? you something. Show you what's in the box here. Okay, let's Captain, look. I found this up in the attic. Yeah? Up in the attic. At the university? At the university, right? I found okay. this up in the attic, and it's pretty neat because All it right. brought back. So remember, look at this thing. What is it? It's a it's, it's a, a miniature guitar. Well, it's a it's a fiddle. It's a fiddle. Not a fiddle. Fiddle. A fiddle. Yeah, it's a fiddle. Okay, it's a, and it's got it's like a fiddle. all kinds of neat things here. Look at this. You can like bing with it. No, and I don't think you should do that. What what's that thing? Mm, I, it's, wow. it's a it's a thing here. Oh, that's I think that's called a bow. Where? Oh, this is a bow. Yeah. Yeah, okay. but not an arrow. Well, yeah, Pete. Just I, a bow. 
Why, Professor, use your F noodle. What's the F stand it for? It stands for fiddle, Pete, because today we're going to fiddle around learning about the fiddle. Okay, is that what we call a string instrument? This is a stringed instrument. Pete, now stand back because, buddy, when I start a fly in Okay, here, go ahead. Play the fiddle, Professor. Ready? Ready? I didn't know you could do this. Pete, it's a piece of cake. It's a fiddle. It's a string thing with the bow. And ready? Okay, ready? ready? Go. Ready? Go. Okay, ready? Yeah. See, even Wembley doesn't like that. Oh, hey, it's my friend, Mark. Professor, Professor, quiet. Thank you, hey. thank you. Hey, Professor. Thank you. Th it's my friend, Mark Bluett from Bluett Brothers. Uh, they make violins and things. Now, over here. Oh, oh, hey, how'd you get in here? Hi, Mark, come on Hi, over here. Come doing? on over here. Hi, Mark, how you doing? Don't Good. tell me you heard him playing the fiddle oh, all boy, the way I over at your place. Uh, yeah, I heard him down here. Oh. oh, that's pretty bad, isn't Makes it? Makes the fillings in your teeth come alive, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. I don't think he's doing it right, is he, Mark? Well, no, I don't think so. Uh, yes. Yeah. Ooh, this hey, is professor. Professor. a little bit of work on professor, it. Professor, guess what? What, Pete? Mark is a craftsman, and he makes violins and what else? Violas oh, and uh, what's and those big things called? Uh, no, no the bass, 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 fiddles. Bass, bass fiddle things. Well, you know what, Pete? String I'm, instruments. I'm a craftsman String too. I make a mess. Yeah. <laughs> so let's talk about making uh, violins and violas, Mark. You have a tape there, don't you? Yeah. Okay. Hey, well, I'm Professor, why don't you put that I'm in school? I'm a craftsman with this too. And maybe we can see. Wait, be careful! Don't drop the tape. Oh, He's a goofball, Mark. Okay, you have well, let's to be put careful. this in scooter. <laughs> now, what do I? What do I? Bring uh, up here. Put, Just put, let's push fiddle around v. here. I'll put F. Push F for a fiddle or something. Fiddle around scooter. Okay, Mark, let's stand back here, and you could tell us what we're seeing here on Scooter. Okay. And we, we visited Mark's shop in York. Now, what's this? Well, this is the inside of my shop. There's some of the tools that I use, and here's some of the wood that I use. That's, that's for a base right there. Oh, that's a big piece of wood. You're huh? gluing up a chair. And here's, uh, this is how you make the molds. Just stack the wood. And, and, uh, glue the wood together, out. huh? What? And, and oh, there they are. That's, that's the finished product for the molds. And that stuff. Those are molds, Professor. Wow. Oh, Scooter likes it. It's pretty cool. What Here's are these the, little things right here? Those are called uh, hand planes. Those, uh, I use those to carve the wood, and and, oh. uh, and now I'm going to slide out some of the finished sides to one of my violins. Wow. There you oh, can see I how see. thin they are. So that's the side to a violin that was in the mold. Right, and that tree just holds it together until I glue on the back, and there's the back that I'm going to I'm going to make for this violin. Oh, what kind of wood is the back? Uh, My wood, I bet. No, oh, Professor. Uh, yeah. Let Mark that's, tell us. That's well, special wood. That's, that's maple, guessing. and that's been that's been air dried for at least maple. 15 years. Is that curly maple that's or bird's eye maple? Curly maple. Curly maple. <laughs> and what was that thing you were drawing there? That's the the neck. That's the neck, and here's the top wood. Now the top is made out of spruce. They're broken half. Well, this is tell us how you do that work. Okay, that's called a book match, and that's so that each side of the violin looks the same and produces the same vibration. Now, this is a guitar. This is cool. Now, You're inlaying yeah, make, this, aren't you? Yeah, I'm inlaying this around the outside of the guitar. Is that ebony or, or abalone or? Uh, no, that's that's koa wood from Hawaii. Koa? Oh, that's and pretty. That's another type of guitar that I make in the shop. Oh, and that's what's like that a, thing? That's like an arch top jazz guitar there. And that's called a hammer dulcimer. A hammer dulcimer. And there's oh. one of my mandolins. Oh, wow. that's a pretty instrument. Oh, they're beautiful. And you made that, Mark? I made that one. Wow. And there's one of my violins that I just strung up just the other day. Well, that, well, it's, it kind of shapes and looks like mine. Look at these guitars uh, oh, here, Oh, look at Pete. these guitars. And these, you all, you made all of these? Well, no, not those right there, but most of these instruments uh, I made at the oh, shop. There's... And here's some older instruments. Is that an that, auto harp? Uh-huh. Wow, and there's a Hawaiian lap guitar. Is right. that right? Mm-hmm. Wow. Pretty cool. And they all have strings. That's right. right. And strings vibrate, making the sound. Look at that oh, guy. Oh, that's oh. pretty. You know what? That's artwork, Pete. No, that, that's a violin. Well, that too. That too, Pete. And these are, what are these? Oh, now, these are my cellos. cellos. And look at all those. There's wow. some other violins at the shop. Cool. Look at that. What's that on the wall there? Okay, now that's a wall where I just take pieces of different instruments and my apprentices, when they don't yeah. do, when they don't make it just right, it ends up on the wall. Oh, I see. <laughs> so you have a whole wall of violins and cellos and everything. Right. Pretty. Well, that was real interesting. But is it, is it hard? Is it hard to play? 
I is it hard to think play? So. Oh yeah, it's well, hard to play. Well, let's ask Mark about how how you go about uh, becoming a craftsman like like you, Mark. How do you, how do you get to learn how to make these things? Well, I learned from an older gentleman called uh, Willis Galt, and he taught me how to make the violin. So you were an apprentice. I was an one apprentice. Time. We learned that word before. That's right. Pete, that's somebody who comes in on the ground level and learns everything he can. Yeah. Pretty so neat. you learned for how many years? Well, I studied under him for two years, and then I've been making for about 15 years. Wow. Well, I think that's a real you interesting profession. You know what? I think you succeeded in learning your craft quite yeah. well. Oh, thank for, you. Know, but you have to learn how to play. Well, yeah, I think playing's pretty easy. Heck, if, you know, there's scratching and things going on. <laughs> pretty good, don't you think? Anybody can learn to play the fiddle. I and don't know. I'm prepared to prove it, Pete. Who can play the fiddle? Anybody I'm, can play the fiddle? I, I picked, I just randomly selected. Okay. In fact, I got one of their assistant scout leaders you here. You mean Den leaders the, to come in Cub here. Scout Where is he? Leader from Jacobus? Mike, get out of here, Mike. Oh, it's, it's Mike. Hi, Mike. Hi, how it's you doing, Mike, Mike? Hammers. Welcome to the clubhouse. Stop Mike, there, how Mike? you doing? Say hi to Mark hi, Bluett. Mike. Hi, Mark. How you doing? Yeah, so have you ever played a fiddle before? No, I've never. You never played play one? Woo! Well, well I'll, I'll tell you what here. Well, let me show you quick here. Uh, I need a chin. Either one of them will do. Oh, Professor, okay. that's not nice. All right, let's stick that in here, right? Yeah. Go ahead, okay. got it there? Now you okay. hold it there. Okay, does that feel comfortable? Okay. That feels know. good. That's I don't good. know. That feels, no, no, no. You gotta have one hand free to, to move up and down the street. Okay. Boy, oh boy. Whew. I don't know, Mark, what do you think about this? You gotta I use a whole know. bunch of them here. Looks like he's doing pretty good holding it. Okay, now you gotta okay. grab the frog. No, oh, no, not that, that frog. No, this not this that. is the frog here. You oh, that's a frog. Yeah. Okay, now frog. you scratch across the strings a little bit. Pretty no. good. No. Pretty good. Keep, keep, keep trying, Mike. Keep trying. Practice, Mike. Now he's getting a little bit better. Wow. You're right, Professor. That's good fiddle playing. Everybody clap. Well, maybe almost anybody can play. Yeah. <laughs> That's really cool. Watch, Professor, you poke an eye out like that. Yeah! All right. All right. Hey. Yay! That's a good job, Mike. Thank you. you he never what? played before. I think if I'd sign him up and take him on the road as my like easy learn fiddle example easy here, learn. yeah, easy learn, that would be good. We could do that. Work. You know, Mark brought one more thing okay. with him. What do you got there, and, you Mark? Know, the bow that you have there, it, it's you made can... out of horse hair, isn't it? Right. Yes. And wow, it's kind of like Sammy Joe's horse hair, horsey wow. Stevie Joe. And that gets made into the bow. The bow hair. Okay. Right. Well, thanks for visiting the clubhouse, Mark. Well, thanks. And Mike, here. thanks for coming by the clubhouse and playing the fiddle. You can we'll be back with more. Get Don't to go away. It, hey, play some more, Mike. Play some more. Check this out, Mike. Go ahead. Yeah. Don't go away. We'll be right back with more fun on Pete McTee's Clubhouse. Welcome back to Pete McTee's Clubhouse. Step inside and join the fun. Today, my book of the week is called Babushka Baba Yaga. Baba Yaga is a lonely woman. She wants to be more like the Babushka people. They have grandchildren and she longs for a grandchild of her own. One day, Baba Yaga decides to borrow Babushka clothing so that she can enter their village. When she goes, they warmly greet her. It is there where she meets a young woman and her grandmotherless son, Victor. They take Baba Yaga in, and as the days go by, Baba Yaga and the young boy grow to love each other. Then one day, the babushkas gather around to tell stories about the horrible legend of Baba Yaga. Poor Victor. He becomes scared and grabs onto Baba Yaga. He is so afraid that he cries himself to sleep that night. Baba Yaga is sad about the untrue stories being told about her. She leaves so that Victor will never find out who she really is. Will Victor ever see his beloved Babushka again? To find out, read Babushka Baba Yaga. This was a really cool book about caring and sharing and loving each other. 
And remember, boys and girls, to stop at your local library so you can learn more about the world around you. You have to read books and read lots of books. You have your school library and you have your public library. Ah! Oh, Professor, you still don't know how to play the violin. No, people that brought somebody along that did. He was showing me oh, some yeah, things. Oh, yeah, Mike played. He was showing me a couple things out on the front porch there. Yeah. So, you know. What are you doing there, well, Professor? Well, I, I brought the fiddle along because, you know, we were talking about the fiddle and how it's yeah. played and how it sounds and the, the vibrating of the strings, the way the, the body is cut on the fiddle, the yeah. sound post, the resonating. And we everything. learned how, how Mark Bluett from Bluett Brothers, uh, how they make violins that and cellos and one violas and guitars. Guy. And what's that big thing called? Again? That's a bass fiddle. Bass fiddle. Yeah. That's a really cool job, I think. Oh, I think it's neat, Pete. You yeah. Know. And you know, Mike just picked up on this right away. You know, I think he's the... a fast learner. I really okay. do. I think he's a fast learner. Yeah, you but know? you're not. You're a goofball. No, but I'm a quick teacher, Pete. I'll tell you right. Okay, you know, now you try learner... you try again. We'll give you one okay, more chance. Ready? Go ahead. Okay, ready? Try again. Go ahead. Is that you playing, Professor? I don't think that's you, Professor. Professor, you're not playing. Whew. Yeah, <laughs> see, it's just Mike playing. I smell horse hair. <laughs> Take us home, Mike. Crank her up, Mike. We'll see you next week on Pete McTee's Clubhouse. Bye, everybody. <laughs> Goodbye, Pete. Goodbye, kids.